สวัสดีครับ Good afternoon once again. Today is Monday, the 17th of May, 2021. Today we have some information regarding uh, two issues. First is about the updates on the restaurant measures, as you would have uh, known, because today is the first day of that this is in effect. That restaurants in the maximum and highly controlled zones, including Bangkok, uh, will are allowed to have dine-in services up to 25% of the capacity. So I'm sure you all know about that. Uh, this is effective today on Monday all, already. The second issue, which I'll go into a bit later, is of course about the prison clusters. Now both of these issues, firstly the restaurant uh, issue, we have some programs after this wherein the restaurant association uh, will be coming and to be talking to the public about this. As for the prison cluster issue, this morning the Director General of the Corrections Department had a press uh, conference explaining, uh, clarifying about the cluster situation in the prisons in, in Thailand already. And I'll go into a little bit of that uh, later on. But firstly, to recap from the weekend that we just passed on Saturday and Sunday, you can see that uh, we have rezoned, adjusted the rezoning of the various uh, areas in uh, Thailand. Uh, the summary of the latest restrictions uh, to contain the latest wave uh, will also be on screen there. Uh, these infographics can be found in the Public Relations Department uh, Facebook page. And I've actually talked about this in the past days already, so you can go and look at that in the social media pages. On the general situation and the statistics that we have for today, I'd just like to start off briefly, just uh, a little bit different from the other days, by saying first that every number, every digit is a life. So as we talk about the numbers each day, we recognize, we realize that every number that we're talking about is a person's life. For confirmed case today, we have recorded, you see on screen, 9,635 cases. Now, of course, this is a high, high. It's a, it's a high, new high that we have never seen before in Thailand. However, the majority is detected in prisons. So in detail, 9,635 out of this number, 2,777 are from local transmission. So a little bit higher than the past few days where we had in the 2000s. This is 2,700 plus. Also, of this number, of the 9,635, 6,853 are detected in prisons uh, across the country. And nine are from overseas. Currently, we have 43,268 active cases, cases still being treated in hospitals, and we have 25 new fatalities to report to you uh, today, unfortunately, making the cumulative fatalities at 614. Most fatalities today are patients with high blood pressure and other, other underlying diseases, so our condolences go to the families. Just some observations. On the new confirmed uh, case of COVID in, by, by area and by risk factors, uh, this is the information that CCSA uses to determine the disease control zones and related measures. And as you can see, the majority of cases are uh, still from Bangkok as the hotspot and uh, from confirmed close contacts as well. Uh, this is why physical distancing remains very important at curbing the transmissions. So today we reported 400 patients or around 33% of all patients being on ventilators. And more than half of this number are found in Bangkok. On the 25 fatalities today, 18 from Bangkok, seven and seven provinces reported one fatality each. So those are Supanburi, Sukhothai, Samut Sakhon, Samut Prakan, Nonthaburi, Nakhon Sawan, and Chainat provinces. And the majority of fatalities uh, passed away between one and two weeks after they were confirmed with the virus. In terms of the 
area distribution in Bangkok, there are now 20, 28 clusters, in act, active clusters in Bangkok, in a total of 19 districts. Regarding the prison cluster, and I had mentioned that the Director General of the Corrections Department had, uh, had a briefing earlier this morning already regarding the numbers uh, found yesterday. So on, on this, during the 1st to the 16th of May, for the first two weeks plus of this month, health authorities have actually been conducting active case finding and checked over 24,000 inmates in a total of eight prison facilities in Bangkok, Non Taburi, Cha Cheung Sao, and Chiang Mai provinces. And of this number, around the 24,000 inmates uh, tested, around 10,748 10, inmates were found to be infected, and another, another 2,200 are waiting for their test results. So this is a span of the past two weeks until yesterday, the 19th of May. But of course, today we have recorded 6,800 plus. Authorities give utmost importance to the COVID transmissions in prisons and reassures that all cases will receive proper medical treatment. And of course, active case finding also continues in Bangkok and its periphery. In prisons, just an additional information in prisons is that nearly today uh, we recorded nearly 7,000, 6,800 plus inmates, uh, mostly from active case finding. And this high number of infection is due to the intentional mass testing on prison officials as well, as well as inmates. So those that inmates are in contact with officials as well to detect and contain uh, COVID. And the Corrections Department had revealed that most of the inmates were being treated at uh, field hospitals set up outside prisons or at the Corrections Department hospital, while those in serious conditions had already been admitted to hospitals. So just to reassure against the public, just to reassure the public once again that the Thai government is providing adequate health protection according to standards and care for all prisoners and detainees, uh, in particular during this particular outbreak in the various prisons across the country. So hoping that that, that will continue to be contained. Dr. Thuy Sin mentioned just now as well regarding the workers, construction workers camp in Laksi district of Bangkok, wherein the CCSA meeting this morning gave importance to isolating confirmed cases from this district and discuss the possibility of setting up a field hospital inside the worker camp uh, complex, as well as creating a bubble to prevent people from entering and exiting the area, except for emergencies. The meeting also discussed about the communications with surrounding communities to raise awareness on precautionary measures and to prevent the further spread of the virus. Of course, communications in different various languages of migrant uh, construction worker community as well as we talked about last time, that we had a lot of uh, media products and infographics and information sent to construction companies in uh, Burmese and Khmer and other languages. Just an update on vaccination, the rollout continues. So as of yesterday, more than 2.2, 2.3 million doses of vaccines have been administered. And of this number, more than 1.4 million have received the first dose, while the remaining have received, been, have been fully vaccinated with the second dose. The health ministry strongly recommends that members of the public continue to remain vigilant and observe DMH TT. We have, as always, an infographic from the World Health Organization on how to protect the elderly family members from COVID-19. Because, of course, many of you remain concerned about the safety and the vulnerability of family members, especially the elderly and children. And you can see that on screen and look for it in the social media uh, page of the World Health Organization. Also, since today is the first day in terms of the 
implementation of dine in in restaurants in the four uh, provinces in the dark red zone, including Bangkok. I have for you an infographic regarding the relaxation of restrictions, including dining. When, when it includes dining out, we have to continue to remain cautious in closed spaces, wearing masks throughout your time in the restaurant, and only to remove your mask when eating or drinking. And you can see the visual presentation there on screen. And then, of course, wash your and sanitize your hands regularly and maintain social distancing because, of course, as we all know, the pandemic is not over yet. Once again, just to repeat one soundbite that I mentioned just now, we know that all the numbers we mentioned is our, our lives. One number is one life. And we will continue to give importance in reducing the number of people who are infected as much as possible through all of our integrated uh, efforts. So we thank you, we thank everyone for your continued understanding up until today. As soon as there is any important information that is relevant, particularly for the foreign community, perhaps this week, I'll, give it, I'll uh, deliver that to you as soon as possible and through other uh, various channels uh, as well. So thank you very much for your attention. Have a happy rest of the week, and I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry,